Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is actually take two of this video because I was in the middle of recording it and Footwatch dropped a code. Yes, finally, we are going to be getting the guaranteed SBCs. They are in the code. It didn't happen yesterday. We're all surprised. I think EA took a holiday on Tuesday for whatever reason. They dropped the, the Kevin Volland SBC. That was it. But here we are, right? And fodder is probably going to start rising from where it is right now at this point. You're catching me literally right as this code was dropped. Literally, like I'm telling you, two minutes ago I was recording. I looked over and Footwatch had tweeted, and here we are. We have got the... Um, what are they calling this? The E, E figs, tots, three player pack, uh, guarantees 11 team of season players from the Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A or League One. Okay. So this is the ultimate team of the season rewards, but I'm not sure what E figs is. I don't know what that stands for, but I'm guessing that means like, um, like ultimate team of the season. I guess they're going to have some sort of wording for it, or this is, I don't know. Anyways, uh, but they've got the three-player pack, the 11-player pack, and then we have the guaranteed team of the season player from League One, and we have the guaranteed rest of the world or MLS TOTS pack that has been released as well. And I'm going to make this point really quick, and we're going to come back to it. We have a team of the week pack, which contains one team of the week from 15, team of the week 15 to 35, or the current active team of the week, SBC uh, that is now in the code as well. And I'm a pit in my opinion, that's going to be a pack and SBC that will be released in the future that will supply team of the week cards to the market because this right here, uh, our team of the week that is active right now that is expiring today. This is the last team of the week of FIFA 21. It is going away. No more new team of the weeks, according to the EA's tweet last week, um, today. So anyways, finally, we have got these guaranteed TOTS packs. I thought that we were going to have the normal schedule yesterday. EA Sports said, nah, we're going to make League One TOTS a little bit less hype and not release these guaranteed SBCs uh, until today on Wednesday, I guess. But that's going to be the drill. We are probably, in my opinion, getting both of those SBCs today instead of yesterday on Tuesday. Now, does this mean they're going to drop another guaranteed League One TOTS on Thursday? So they still have the two like they have done for the past two weeks with the Bundesliga and Serie A. I don't know. I wouldn't expect that because that's rewards day. But I do think today you're going to see that stuff come out. And again, I bet right now, let me take, let me show you these fodder prices because this stuff is probably going up a bit right now. It's been low, right? Again, with less and less hype content being released in the past couple of days, this fodder just keeps dropping. Now, again, I think this guaranteed League One Tots, probably 85 or 86 rated. They could get away with an 87, but that really would not be worth it. The fodder is cheap right now. That's the only reason why I say they could get a, they could get away with an 87 rated squad. That, of course, requires a season as well. But we've got... 84 is at 5,000 coins. These are going to start going up. People are going to start rash investing in these. And it makes sense, right? Because these packs are highly, highly in demand and everybody's going to go want and do some of these. So with that being said, if you have gotten in on your fodder, I think that was a great opportunity earlier this week to get in on your SBC fodder. If you're watching this video and it's not up that much, then you know what? Maybe an opportunity to still go in because I think this fodder <clears throat> for me is not just low for this week. I think it's low, low, like it's low for the next month as well. I mean, these cards, I bought Dinier's at 6,000 coins. I believe he's like under 6K now, but even that card for 6K, he's probably going to be above 10,000 coins in the next couple of weeks. And I still think that's a really, really good buy. Like, how much is he right now? Seriously, I bought him for 6.7K. He's now 6.1, right? So I'm happy with my fodder investment because I know that I got low prices in, in the grand scheme of things, and that stuff is going to go up. Now, today, since there's a lot of fodder investing, and I want to make this point too, let's take a look at this Axel Witzel graph from what happened a couple weeks ago. And as you can see, he was just 4.9. He's already up 200K in a couple minutes, which isn't a lot, but people are probably buying it up. But watch the index 84. Uh, but you can see he kind of hit a low down here right after Premier League team of the season heading into La Liga. During that week of La Liga, he went from 3,800 coins all the way up to 7,000 coins. But he didn't stop there because the next week the content was that hype. So all I'm saying is if you want to wait it out a little bit, if you feel like the content that we're not getting, if let's say for Ultimate Tots, the content's good, right? SBCs are flowing. 84s go back from 5,000 coins to like 8K. You're like, yeah, 8K is good, but look, we're going to get back over 10,000 coins at some point in the future, in my opinion, in the next like couple weeks. So I might keep holding my club stock or the extra cards that I have on my transfer list. Now, if you're unassigned and you put millions into fodder, then you might take your coins, right? Because you're bored of being unassigned or whatever. But all I'm saying is if you see an initial jump, 
on this fodder, I wouldn't be so quick to sell just yet if you are buying that fodder for more of a longer term hold. If you want to get out of it and take your coins, by all means. But I think it's probably going to be since we've had low content during Prem Tots, we rebounded back up with a lot of content. Now we kind of come back down again when and if it turns around and it picks back up um, because I do think that time is coming. You know, it's not going to reach its peak right away. It's going to take all that investing, all the people that were investing to sell off their cards and then more content comes out after that and that's what's going to make it boom to that next level. So just talking through that. Now let's talk about again, League One Tots cards. If we're getting the League One guaranteed today, What's going to happen to these guys? Now, you know, Neymar's 9-5. He is up a little bit from where he was. Depay is up. Di Maria is chilling. Ben Yedder is up a little bit. Uh, these guys are probably going to be d dropping today, in my opinion, because we've got rewards tomorrow as well. So people went on guaranteed tots day. Two things happen. Number one, if they really want a card for their team, they don't pack it in guaranteed tots. They just go out and they buy it, right? They, they panic sell a card. We see this happen all the time on Wednesdays, right? Let's say somebody had Depay in their team. And they're like, OMG, I'm going to pack to pie today, or a lot of people are going to pack to pie today, and this price is going to drop. I got to sell them, right? So watch out for the selling on these cards pre-6 p.m. because you're definitely going to see that. You're going to see some cards where people list them up. They're going to be scared. People are going to pack them, and their prices are going to go down. But in reality, not many people are going to pack to pie, Di Maria, Bamba, and cards like that. They're going to be packing Jose Fonte, Klaas, and Marquinhos. Uh, sorry, Kaylor Navas, not Marquinhos. I mean, Marquinhos would actually be a dub. So... All I'm saying is you'll probably see a little bit of panic on these cards today. You might see their prices drop, maybe a slight bit of a rebound. But again, we have rewards coming later tonight into Thursday morning. And the thing with rewards and this week is we have got some of these cards that are most likely going to be in packs for another week. So Neymar, Mbappe, possibly Ben Yedder, very high tier cards. Maybe even uh, Cheeky Kaylor Navas could get into Ultimate Tots as well. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is with rewards, a lot of coins are coming onto the market and a lot of people are chasing after this Neymar card, right? So specifically for this card, you might have some fluctuations, right? You might have this Neymar who, who could go down to like 9 million coins flat once again. He was 9 mil flat, I think on Monday. He's kind of gone back up since the content's not that, been that hot, but he's most likely going to be in packs next, next week. So you might see a little bit of supply at rewards. People pack this card, they go and list it up and sell it, but then people also get coins um, top 200 players, elite players that pack these blues, tradable, they go and sell them. Let's say they go pack Ben Yedder. They go sell their Ben Yedder. They sell the other stuff they packed. They want to go buy Neymar, right? This guy's got a lot of demand. So Neymar might drop a bit, then rebound a bit. But then ultimately, I think all of these TOTS cards are going to go lower because Ultimate TOTS next week, um, that's a big week of content, right? And since we've had nothing kind of this week, we're really hoping that it bounces back. And next week during Ultimate TOTS would be a great week to do that for EA. So um, especially also if they're putting out like a, uh, a Team of the Week player SBC, I mean, that's potential and that's grounds for crafting icon packs as well if that is going to start coming out. So that's very curious in terms of what I'm thinking. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yes, I don't know. I don't know what the e-figs is. I, I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know if they're replacing Ultimate Tots with e-figs. I don't know what e-figs is, man. But uh, I guess if Ultimate Tots is not happening, maybe we're going to hear whatever this e-figs is. Um, what a weird abbreviation. Anyways, I can't get out of, my, out of my mind. Hopefully we learn a little bit more of that today because as of right now in the moment with this is dropping, I'm really not sure what to think. But again, the last team of the week is the team link that is out right now. And if we had that, if we have this team of the week SBC coming today, I still think that investing in some of these discard team of the weeks in terms of, you know, 85 rated team of the weeks like the Stindle card that are 12,000 coins, getting them on bid if you can, right at discard, uh, or even some of the 84s that are just about a discard as well. I think that's a, a GG, right? I think that's a good value because there's going to be SBCs coming out in the future. The only thing that I'm a little worried about is are they really only going to require informs, right? There's tots, there's foot champions that they now require. If you take a look at some of these icons, and this might only be for icon SBCs, but if you take a look at the newest ones, which would be Gerard, uh, Carlos Tor Alberto Torres is the one that I want to look at. You can see here that the requirements say team of the week, tots, or foot champs. And recently in a lot of the player SBCs, it's been team of the week or um, team of the season. So 
Uh, now, Kevin Volland didn't require one yesterday, but Tots or Team of the Week has been a very common requirement for a lot of these squads. Like Joe Gomez, I believe, yes, Team of the Week or Team of the Season, Team of the Week or Team of the Season. So um, I think that's going to continue, at least for the next couple of weeks. I don't know if there's going to be any squads that would require just Team of the Week cards, any of the icon upgrades that may require that, but that would be the thing that would make some of that informed fodder go up. Again, it's basically a discard or it's very, very cheap. You might as well just buy one and chuck it in the club. If you're already waiting and investing on fodder, you might as well. So again, finally, man, we're getting that guaranteed tots today, which is dope. Now for the rest of the world team of the season, I want to look at this one really quick as well. Um, hopefully this is an 82 rated squad because the last two weeks it's been that cheap. You might see Nani come on the market today. I do not think this card should be extinct at 650,000 coins. I think that's a bit ridiculous. Uh, and these cards just continue dropping. They're very, very low anyway. Um, but I think that SBC is going to be an 82 rated squad and pretty low chem in my opinion. Of course, Tavernier, Cezina, Orsic, the hyped guys that are in these, in the rest of the world team, they're not going to get packed very often. You might see a bit of panic, then a bit of rebound on these cards as well, especially Tavernier. He's pretty rare. So just kind of watch out for some of those market movements. And then today with rewards, right? Let's talk about that. Or not today, but tomorrow with rewards. Um, I'm really curious to see what the market does because, again, like I was mentioning, the content this week has been so lackluster that, again, if you're playing weekend league this weekend, which 100% people are going to be interested in playing weekend league because you've got the ultimate tots rewards, which is going to guarantee you cards from the top five leagues. So we know that if you're getting elite, your elite pack or your top 100 pack is going to contain players from the tots that are from the top five leagues, which is a W, right? Which is kind of what we won and expected. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of hype for ultimate tots weekend league, in my opinion. You're going to see some demand on this market, I think, especially in the higher tier end, right? I mean, I look at some moments icons right now that are very low, like a moments Pushkas, right? I mean, this guy is just very, very low. And with a lot of coins coming onto the market, you know, you might see some of this stuff, you know, boost up in price. So I would definitely watch the icons. Um, now with ultimate tots and e-figs, whatever, um, that might cause a little bit of market, I guess, um, hesitation or caution. And maybe a lot of people wouldn't just go out and buy stuff. Um, and especially with cards that are, you know, people think they're maybe on the fence of whether they get into ultimate tots or not. Like maybe a Hyunmin son, not sure if he gets into ultimate team of the season, really unsure about that one, kind of on the fence. You know, what's going to happen with a card like this? I, I wouldn't expect a ton of stuff to go crazy on the market, I guess is what I'm saying. Since a lot of people are already playing with untradeable tots cards that they've packed, um, you know, icon SBCs, they've been able to craft. There's a lot of people that have untradeables in their teams at this time. So there's not a lot of people going out and buying cards. It's just stuff that they maybe want to try out. So I do think there could be a bit of market upswing in some areas, but with the hype of ultimate tots, whatever that might be, I'm not really sure about that as well. That could be pretty interesting. Uh, so I'm going to keep it chill this week with like Thursday flips, probably buy a couple icons that, just, that are very rare. Rarity is your best friend, 100%. Rarity is your best friend in times like this. Baby icons, you know, Tots cards that are very rare, like Lukaku's team of the season card. Very, very, very rare item. That's a guy that I've got my eye on um, and some of these uh, icons as well. That are just stupid rare, right? Babies and middles out of packs, even prime and moments that people want to get their hands on. That's the kind of stuff that I'll be watching this week. But again, the big news is, at least for today, Guaranteed Tots is finally going to be coming. We were wondering where the heck it was. They finally dropped the code and it has been released. Now, hopefully we get some better content in terms of SPC cards as well. We had the Volan yesterday, eh, right? Not that great. But hopefully EA kind of picks the content back up as we head out of League One into Ultimate Tots. That'd be a very nice thing to see. And then hopefully we get some more information today on Wednesday about what Ultimate Tots is and what in the world eFigs is. I think that's my biggest question right now. What in the world is eFigs? So hopefully we get some information on that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Make sure that you send me your pictures of the League One Tots packs if you get them. Twitter link down below, Discord link, join, get involved in all that good stuff. And I wish you all the best with your pack luck. Quick side note, I had my pack luck come in clutch today. 55 blues, as you can see. I snagged myself a first owner and tradable Ben Cheddar from an upgrade pack. Unbelievable. Two years in a row with the rat. So I don't want him out of my, out of my guaranteed. I'll take the other French striker, EA Sports, if you're listening. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, of course, do all the things. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.